Good morning, everyone. Our opening hymn will be number 497 in the CBW3. Number 497, Lord of all hopefulness. We will sing verse 1. 497. Lord of all hopefulness, Lord of all joy, whose trust ever childlike no cares can destroy, be there at our waking and give us, we pray, your bliss in our hearts, Lord, at the break of the day. Good morning, everyone, again, and to all who are joining us online. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Our Mass this morning is offered for the repose of Mary Tom Lianovich and Marisa Alfieri. Dear friends, as we close this past year, this church year today, all of our readings, everything has been pointed towards ending towards the awaiting preparation and as we begin our church new church year advent literally means to prepare we are preparing for the joy peace love all of those things that only christ can give and at his birth in a few short weeks we will celebrate the great joy that came into our world that opened for us the dawn of new hope, of salvation itself. As we gather and prepare ourselves, let us call to mind our own sins before God and before one another. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of your Father in heaven. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As for me, Daniel, my spirit was troubled within me, and the visions of my head terrified me. I approached one of the attendants to ask him the truth concerning all this. So he said that he would disclose to me the interpretation of the matter. As for these four great beasts, four kings, will arise out of the earth. But the holy ones of the Most High shall receive the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever and ever. Then I desired to know the truth concerning the fourth beast, which was different from all the rest, exceedingly terrifying, with its teeth of iron and claws of bronze, and which devoured and broke in pieces and stamped what was left with its feet and concerning the ten horns that were on its head 
and concerning the other horn which came up and to make room for it, three of them fell out. The horn that had eyes and a mouth that spoke arrogantly and that seemed greater than the others. As I looked, this horn made war with the holy ones and was prevailing over them. Until the ancient one came, then judgment was given for the holy ones of the Most High, and the time arrived when the holy ones gained possession of the kingdom. This is what the attendant said. As for the fourth beast, there shall be a fourth kingdom on earth. There shall be different from all the other kingdoms. It shall devour the whole earth and trample it down and break it to pieces. As for the ten horns, out of this kingdom ten kings shall arise, and another shall arise after them. This one shall be different from the former ones, and shall put down three kings. He shall speak words against the Most High, shall wear out the holy ones of the Most High, and shall attempt to change the sacred seasons and the law, and they shall be given into his power for a time, two times, and half a time. Then the court shall sit in judgment, and his dominion shall be taken away, to be consumed and totally destroyed. The kingship and dominion and the greatness of the kingdoms under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the Holy Ones of the Most High. Their kingdom shall be an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response, give glory and praise to the Lord forever. Give Give glory glory and praise praise to to the the Lord Lord forever. forever. Bless the Lord, all wild, wild animals and cattle. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Give Give glory glory and praise to to the the Lord Lord forever. forever. Bless the Lord, all people on earth. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Give glory and And praise praise to to the the Lord Lord forever. forever. Bless the Lord, O Israel. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Give Give glory glory and and praise praise to the the Lord Lord forever. forever. Bless the Lord, you priests of the Lord. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Give Give glory glory and praise to the the Lord Lord forever. forever. Bless the Lord, you servants of the Lord. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Give Give glory glory and and praise to to the Lord Lord forever. forever. Bless the Lord, spirits and souls of the righteous. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Give Give glory glory and and praise to to the Lord Lord forever. forever. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Be watchful, pray constantly, that you may be worthy to stand before the Son of Man. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus spoke to his disciples about the end which is to come. Be on guard so that your hearts are not weighed down with dissipation and drunkenness and the worries of this life, and that day catch you unexpectedly like a trap. For it will come upon all who live on the face of the whole earth. Be alert at all times, praying that you may have the strength to escape all these things that will take place and to stand before the Son of Man. 
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel reading for the last day of the liturgical year is a continuation of the messages of warning from Jesus. The world is not forever. A day will come when everything will disappear and we will have to face the judgment seat of God. So Jesus warns his followers not to become engrossed and preoccupied with worldly matters, self-indulgence and the pursuit of pleasure, and be anxious about material things. Once again, he reminds them the great day is going to happen very quickly without mourning and will surprise everyone like a trap. And this is not only for a certain group of people, but for everyone who lives on the face of the earth. Of course, this great day also refers to the day when each one of us will be called to face our Lord and Creator at the end of our earthly life. So the Lord exhorts everyone, be vigilant at all times. Being vigilant is to be watchful and ready, like the servants awaiting the master's return in the middle of the night, and like the five wise virgins and their lamps burning brightly. These, there are concrete steps of being actively vigilant. In the first place, fear and anxieties should be cast aside. Jesus repeatedly exhorts us, do not be afraid. I am with you until the end of the age. Fear effectively petrifies people, pushing them into, a, into an action. True Christians are spiritual athletes. A true athlete is not afraid of the race. Rather, they prepare for it through serious training and sacrifice. When at times they may feel tired and tempted to give up, they simply remind themselves of the prize and to keep going as spiritual athletes. Christians are not afraid of death nor the end of the world. Rather, we prepare for that great day and what motivates us to persevere in our preparations despite op oppositions and obstacles is the prize at stake, heaven and eternal life. Second, vigilance simply means being alert and sensitive to the signs of the times Time and again, Jesus reminds his followers to be alert, to be awake and alert, to keep our eyes open in order to observe and readily discern the signs and warnings along the way. He gives the example of the appearance of the clouds in the east and the cropping of fresh buds of the trees at the end of winter. A person who is totally engrossed in worldly and spiritual and material affairs will not notice those things. And thirdly, vigilance is mainly through prayer. In his agony in the garden, he instructed his disciples to watch and pray that you may not undergo the test. Human as we are, we do not have the strength to face and overcome trials and tribulations. But when we bend our knee in prayer, we become strong with the strength provided by God. In particular, Jesus asks us to pray for the strength to stand before the Son of Man. At the end of our mortal life and of the world, we will face God. There is no better example of this kind of vigilance than the Blessed Mother herself. This is precisely the reason on this Saturday they are dedicated in her honor. On that Saturday after Good Friday, while the whole world mourned, Mary was described as standing even while she was beneath the cross. This is a posture of strength and act of readiness. She is not sitting down, which is a posture of passivity and sometimes of weakness. Filled with grief, she remains silent, keeping everything in her heart. But most especially, she is silent because she is deeply absorbed in prayer. Let the words of the Apostle Peter give us courage and strength. There is cause for rejoicing here. You may for a time have to suffer the distress of many trials. 
But this is not so that but this is so that your faith, which is more precious than the passing splendor of fire tried gold, may by its genuineness lead to praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ appears. Dear friends, as we rise, we bring our prayers before our loving Father, who deserves our glory and eternal praise, and our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, for church leaders who encourage and lead us in the work of evangelization, we pray to the Lord. For world leaders, may God grant them the courage to build their nations in the image of his kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who experience discord in their families or relationships, May God's bountiful love heal any division. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here in this holy place at St. Joseph's, may the Holy Spirit help us in remaining vigilant and prayerful at all times. We pray to the Lord. For the souls of the faithful departed, we remember especially today Mary Tomlianovich and Marisa Alfieri. May they be blessed to stand before the Son of Man in his heavenly glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our petitions that we keep in the silence of our own hearts, Loving God, it is right and just that we offer you glory and praise. In your goodness, please hear these prayers we offer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering 
we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through your word, whom you made all things, whom you sent as your Son and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially Mary and Marisa, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and all honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
at the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. <coughs> Messes, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. <clears throat> that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of our Lord's peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The act of spiritual communion. <clears throat> My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Body of Christ. 
Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ. May God's blessing be upon you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother in prayer. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. 
despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption. Ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection, so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. Please kneel if you're able to as we begin our holy hour. O saving victim, holding wide <clears throat> of heaven to us below, our foes press on from every side. <coughs> May your strength bestow. 
to your great name be endless praise. Immortal God, head one in three, O grant us endless length of days, when our true native land we see. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, we believe that you are really here in the sacrament. Night and day you remain, compassionate and loving. You call, you wait, you welcome everyone who comes to visit. Unimportant though we are, we adore you. We thank you for all the wonderful graces you have given to us. We thank you especially for giving us yourself in the sacrament, for asking your mother to mother us, and for calling us here to talk to you. We are here before you today to do three things, to thank you for these precious gifts, to make up for all the disrespect you receive in the sacrament from those who offend you, to adore you everywhere in the world where you are present in this living bread, but are left abandoned and unloved. Lord Jesus, we love you with all our hearts. We know that we have displeased you often in the past, and we are sorry. With your help, we will try never to do it again. We consecrate ourselves to you completely. We give you our will, our love, our desires, everything we own. From now on, do what you please with us. All we ask is that you love us and that you keep us faithful to the end of our lives. We ask for the grace to do your will exactly as you want it done. We pray for the holy souls in purgatory, especially for those who were close to you in the sacrament and close to your mother Mary. We pray for every soul hardened by sin. Jesus, our Savior, we unite our love to the love of your divine heart, and we offer them both to your Father. We beg God to accept this offering in your name. Amen. Dear friends, as we begin, as we pray together the, uh, the, the, um, the rosary, could someone take each of the decades, too, as we pray, uh, as this cursed voice of mine is still cursed. Anyway, um, <laughs> let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We pray for the intentions and for the health of our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <laughs> Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. At the hour of our death, Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners at the hour of our death, Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Those in most need of your mercy. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. It's not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, 
Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. The hour of our death, amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but from evil. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother.
Mother of God. The hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. The hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. The hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, now and end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Queen, Mother of Mercy, hey, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. Do we cry, poor baddest children of Eve? Do we send up our sighs, this valley of tears, turn that most gracious advocate towards us? After this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O loving, sweet Virgin Mary, for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that while meditating on these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Chaplet of Divine Mercy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You expire, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world, empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. In water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and for our sins and those of the whole world. Mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. I offer you the the soul and divinity, your dearly beloved Son. Our Lord Jesus Christ, and for our sins and those of the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Mercy on us and on the whole world. I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity in your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. O oh God, in whom mercy is endless, and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Um, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. And the Holy Spirit, amen.
Come adore this wondrous presence, bow to Christ the source of grace. Here is kept the ancient promise of God's earthly dwelling place. Sight is blind before God's glory. Faith alone may see his face. Glory be to God the Father. Praise to his co-equal Son. Adoration to the Spirit. Bond of love in God had won. Blessed be God by all creation, joyously while ages run. You have given them bread from heaven. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you give us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you have won for us and the peace of the kingdom, where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. 
Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. St. Joseph, St. Catherine of Alexandria, St. Francis Xavier. Holy God, we praise your name. Lord of all, we bow before you. All on earth your center claim. All in heaven above adore you. Infinite thy vast Everlasting is thy reign, infinite thy vast domain. Everlasting is thy reign. Hark the glad celestial hymn. Angel choirs above are raising cherubim and seraphim in unceasing chorus praising fill the heavens sweet accord holy 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 lord fill the heavens with sweet accord holy 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 lord